there are two types of pallet shipments, individual item splits and case pack splits. The difference is how Amazon splits your inventory if your shipping plan has multiple shipments. For item split shipments, you enter SKUs and quantities, and if there are splits, Amazon will split your products by individual units. For case pack shipments, you enter your SKUs, quantities, and case configurations, and if there are splits, Amazon will split your items based on the case configurations that you entered. This video will walk you through the process of an item split pallet shipment. To prep and pack pallet shipments using item splits, scan or select the items you want to send from the inventory page and press create draft shipment. Once you have a draft shipment, select LTL FTL for the shipment type, select a partnered or non-partnered carrier, and then confirm that the provide box contents option is set to later. From inside your draft, you can change an item's quantity by clicking on the units column, remove and delete items by clicking on the red X, or add new items into your draft by clicking on the add items button. You can also add special instructions, custom notes, and item locations for your packers to see by editing the notes and locations fields. When you are ready to create your shipment, press the plan shipping button. This will show you all of the different inbound shipping options that Amazon gives you, as well as any of their associated fees. Compare the different options, pick one, and then press the create shipment button to create your working shipment. After creating working shipments, you'll find them here on the working shipments page. The next step is to simply prep and pack the items in your shipment while generating box labels and applying them to your boxes. To open a working shipment, click this icon located next to the FBA shipment ID number. Here you are going to see all of the items in your shipment and be able to track everything that needs to be prepped, packed, and shipped. To begin working on a product, simply select one of the SKUs from your list. You can start from the top and work your way down, pick and choose products in any order you want, or use a scanner to scan UPC or FN SKU barcodes. After selecting an item to prep, press the printer icon. Here you are going to see your product, any custom notes that you may have added, any prep guidance from Amazon, and you'll also see how many units need to be labeled and shipped. If you need item labels, press the print item labels button and 2D workflow is going to print your FN SKU labels and then you can label and pack your products. When you are done packing, press next to enter your box configurations and tell the software how many boxes you have. Then press print box labels. When you do that, you get our custom 2D barcodes. Print them, stick them on your boxes, Put those boxes on an outgoing pallet and you are 100% done with this item and ready to move on to the next. You can also confirm this in 2D workflow by noticing that the item has turned green and dropped to the bottom of the list. This means that you are finished with this SKU. You can see all of your packed boxes here on the right side of the screen. The next step is to keep prepping and packing all the items in your shipment and adding those boxes to an outgoing pallet. When one pallet is full, simply print the pallet label, move it to the side, and start adding boxes to your next pallet. Now, sometimes you might want to pack multiple different items into a single box. To do so, press the multi skew box button. When you press this button, you are basically creating an empty box. You can now decide what items to put in that box by scanning different items, which will add them to a box with each scan, or you can manually select which SKUs to add by pressing the search button and then entering items and quantities. Once your multi-SKU box is full, press close box and print box label, and then stick that label on your box. Continue prepping all of the items in your shipment until everything is packed, all the items are green, and the progress bar is at 100%. 
Sometimes at the end of a shipment, you may have a discrepancy in the number of units. For example, you may have added 72 units of a product into a shipment, but you only prepped and packed 67 of them. This can typically happen if you were shorted some items from your supplier or if you damaged some of your units during prep. At the end of your shipment, you can adjust any of the discrepancies by manually editing the quantity in the quantity field or by by pressing the remove unpacked items button, which will remove any items not yet packed into your boxes. When you are ready to complete your shipment, go to the working page and press the complete shipment button. Here, just enter and confirm all the required information. Make sure you enter your pallet details by adding the height and weight and then pressing the add pallets button. And next, press show shipping options. The final step in the process is to select your carrier. If you chose an Amazon partnered carrier, you can browse different prices and options. And then when you're ready, pick your carrier and press the purple complete shipment button to complete the process. Your pallet shipment is now 100% complete. On the working page, you'll notice the green check mark, which is a status indicator, just letting you know that your shipment is done and 100% ready to ship. For more information on the LTL workflow, send us a message at support at 2dworkflow.com.